stop things like that. And how often did you come back and uh, look at the measurements, collect the measurements? Every week we'd come and check. Right. And here we have, John was telling us about before at the other uh, Pago Weir, a hut. And I had no idea what he was talking about. But look at this thing. I'm up fairly close to it, so it looks like a literal hut. But I guess it's on top of the uh, vertical pipe that had the measuring stuff in it. And here's a little cupboard that would have had the recorder in it. There's a sign in there, a routed sign that says Grandis. And uh, John was saying they haul the concrete up from the road to build this uh, weir in 44 gallon drums. They had a motor down the road and a pulley up here. So is this a 90 degree or a 120 V notch, John? Uh, 90. So it's a 90 degree. And all back through here when it would have been in its prime would have been the, what did you call the pond at the back? Stilling, stilling pond. The stilling pond, but of course it's all full of debris and stuff now. But this is really lovely. Here we are at Bushranger Weir.